And we're back, and it looks like some of the lines are starting to work. We'll better start with line three, Desmay from Telecom. Hello? Hello, Headley, it's Des Lee. Oh, Des Lee from Telecom. Yes, how are you? Good. It seems like some of the lines are starting to work now. That's fabulous. We just thought we'd give you a complimentary call to see if it's all OK. Yeah, thank you very much for that. What tremendous service. Thank you. I'm pleased that we please somebody sometimes. Well, is that the pressure of Optus coming into the marketplace? Not at all. No, you've always been this efficient? Personally, yes. Well, a little purple star with an elephant on it for telecom tonight. Hurrah! Thank you very much. Okay, well and we thank you very much. Bravo. What was the name? What was the name of the tele of, of the technician that heard about it and that rang in? Gordon. Gordon, tell Gordon we'll give him two tickets to the Longford Cinema. Wonderful. Okay. I'll take five or myself. Okay, we we'll might make it three <laughs> tickets. <laughs> tell him to tell him to give us a call or to write into us at 25 Victoria Street, Fitzroy, and we'll tell him how to collect those. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. And we've got a STD call line eight. It's Frank the cabbie. How are you, Henley? Good, Frank. Where are you driving? I'm in St Albans at the moment. Where are you? In St Albans. St Albans. Looking for Wayne? Looking for Wayne. I can't find him. Knock on a few doors. Hey. You got a, you got a, a fear in the car? No, I just dropped this dipshit off. I thought you guys were a load of crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I charged him extra. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, uh, that'd be a reviewer for the Melbourne A. <laughs> no, it could be Wayne himself. Hey, uh, Henley, you know how big I am, right? Yeah. The guy was bigger than I was, so I've got a bit worried, you know? Yeah, you're a big boy there, Frank. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that big. Yeah, well, Frank, I should uh, tell the boys here, is from Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona, who's very proud when the Olympics went there. You did a good job, Frank. Oh, thanks, mate. I don't think you could have done it without Ross Oakley going over there. I mean, he was very important. Yep. Okay. No one in the car at the moment heading home? Eh? Heading home? No, no. I'm still driving around. Listen, going to the guys for the best Hector sketch, I reckon he's the stuntman a couple of weeks ago with a truck. Oh, the yeah. The stuntman, no. they're always with a truck. You're always getting run over no, with a truck. No, he got run over, go backwards while uh, Mick was driving. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. that's that Mick for you. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, shotgun that was, was better. better. That, that, was a, that was a good show, that one. Thanks a lot. That's Thanks, good, Frank. Thanks what, for watching, Frank. Why was there a repeat show in the middle of the series? You ran out of material for a week or someone <laughs> got the shits with someone or what was the story there? All of a sudden, they got a repeat. Um, a best of, let's say. Well, we just figured that there wasn't that many, like, you know, they were the very early shows and not many not many people know that the show's actually on. So give right. them a chance to watch that stuff and give us a chance. It's not a bad to... idea. I'm just wondering what was the real yeah. reason behind we, it. We wanted to actually catch up with filming a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. You know, we just wanted to keep, we spent the whole week, we just filmed things. Yeah. Things like the, the stuntmen take ages to film, so we have to... It's a small, pretty a small off. unit that we're working with with the ABC too. So it's like a small bunch of us and a small bunch of them and... So everyone's working pretty hard to, and and it's a commercial, it's an ABC hour, which mm. is about what one hour and twenty five of commercial time yeah. equivalent. And it's magnificent how you get that grainy effect sometimes with your outdoor shoots. <laughs> I just want to ask. Costs a fortune to do. Yeah, I know. Hey Frank, yeah. you know the guy that you just had around? Yeah. Did the he? Dipshit. <laughs> dipshit. Yeah. Did he give uh, any? Um, decipherable reasons or did he just sum the whole thing up by calling us a bunch of crap? He said you all guys are a bunch of crap. Oh, that's good to hear. Was he sober? That's him, that's Ross Warnicky from The Age. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said in the paper. Uh, hey, you know what you guys should do? What? You should make a sketch about a taxi driver and put subtitles in because most of them don't speak English, mate. <laughs> <laughs> work me on that. I work with some of them guys. <laughs> OK, Frank, well, thanks for that. Oh, I'm coming up to an accident. Are oh, you? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he, he reported live on air. Describe it for us. Oh, Two dipshits drove into each other. <laughs> Hang on, did you cause this, Frank? No, no, okay, come on, I'm a respectable taxi we'll driver. Put you, we'll put you on hold, Frank. This will be like 3UZ night beat. <laughs> okay. Put you on hold, we'll come back to you when you get to the accident, That's all right? reality radio. Reality radio. Line one, it is, it is Liz. Yes. Lizzie. Yes, I've got a bit of a question here. A bit of a question? Yes, um, I'd like to ask, um, what happened to Graham's lovely wife, um, Immaculata? <laughs> 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 I've been hanging out to find out what, you know, what's happened to her Liz, um, in the relationship. It, um, you've opened a few scars there. <laughs> she went back to Crystal Tees. She, right. um, <laughs> she and her godmother, um, Mrs. Um, Rojas. Rojas. <laughs> no, the, um, <clears throat> she went back to the, um, the mining magnate. <laughs> Lang Hancock. Lang Hancock. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, and uh, and since married on again. No, she's gone back to Mount Pinatuba, back to where she belongs, and uh, she's left the country, and uh, she won't be back anymore. I thought she was working with Richard Stubbs, and she was in Malta. No, no, no. She, uh, our relationship broke down. There was a cultural difference. Well, you, you and Richard. <laughs> no, there's, there's supposedly a, a, a Filipino woman, woman in one of his sketches on his... Really? Sorry, I shouldn't say it, on his radio show. Yeah. We oh. never hear that radio show, because oh. since we left it, we suddenly realised why so many people we knew never listened to our show, because it's on too early. <laughs> mm. Well, I've just got another question. Yeah. What eventuated from um, the sketch last night with the two dogs? Is the dog pregnant? Because I wouldn't mind a few puppies. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, we went, we we went a little bit uh, funniest, uh, naughtiest home video. <laughs> I, m I must admit. Yeah, we did. Whose dogs yeah. were they? They were Mick's dogs. Can you believe it? Mick is such a you know a uh, pimp. No, he's such a he's like a you know pimp you go, of his you know, own dog. He shouldn't have a, shouldn't have dogs that small. And you know, Mick's a sort of big beefy guy. <laughs> I think he breeds them to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd have rotties. You know? Rotties. Rotties. <laughs> and he said, mate. No, oh, fellas, I've bought some dogs. <laughs> what have you bought, Mick? A Doberman, maybe? One of those big Irish wolfhounds? Mate, bought a Shih Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't procreate from that uh, that encounter, no. Oh, OK. All right, yeah. thanks anyway. Thanks, Thank you, Liz. Bye-bye. Bye. And we've got a line to Hagbard. Headley. Hagbard. Tony, Rob, Santa. Oh, thank God that i am finally got on to you guys. Oh, I mean, God. you are my idols. I've been trying all night to get hold of you. Holy Toledo. I'm, I'm it was only Telecom that stood in the way. Yeah, well, I actually rang up Telecom a couple of times as well to say, you know, hey, these guys have got problems, but they said that they couldn't do anything because you had to ring that uh, 123 number or whatever it was. Well, yeah. Thanks for that. That's good. Anyway, yeah, good timing with that camera trained on those dogs when they were right about to, uh, yeah, you know. It yeah. was great timing, I thought. A couple of favourite sketches back in the old uh, FM Playhouse days was definitely the uh, On the Vikings or whatever, On the Longboats or something. On the Longboats, oh, yes. That was an absolute classic. That yeah. had me la uh, laughing, especially the use of um, O Fortuna right at the start, the, the moving type music. <laughs> Is this the, the morning, early morning breakfast show? Yeah, I used to love them. Um, How can you laugh before nine o'clock in the morning? Exactly. Oh, it, was, it was only quarter to eight, so... <laughs> hey, Edley, if you have three cups of coffee, you can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> also, a favourite sketch from the TV series that you're doing at the moment um, would have to be the Olympics opening ceremonies in the backyard. That was fantastic. Yeah. We, it took screen. us a long time. It took us about seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, that, that long, huh? We really did film that in our lunch break. Literally in the lunch hour, we got the, away. There's some things that you think are going to take a long time suddenly just come together and others that should be a piece of cake you can't get right time and time and time again yeah. and tony oh hello tony mate yeah when you did that take off of rem that was just absolutely fab. Oh, yeah oh, oh. Yeah. do you think we've shown it enough though no, <laughs> i've only seen it the once all oh, right it's That's been on a twice. couple of times i think oh stand on your head in the sink i mean honestly the lyrics they just had so much meaning for me <laughs> but did you, know, did you notice how they filmed it so that you couldn't tell how bad the miming was they just kept cutting to dry ice or they had a crane <laughs> shot or something well is it actually you who sang it Oh, yeah, I was, but it wasn't live. I was miming to it, yeah. Oh, I see. So you haven't quite sort of uh, braved the live singing yet? Well, I did it uh, at the Prince Patrick Live, at the Prince Patrick Hotel in Collingwood one night, and well, nobody to, threw anything, so... <laughs> well, you'd want to, because after what happened to young Betty Boo... Yeah, um, yeah tell me, what exactly. What were you guys actually studying at uh, Melbourne when you met each other? Well, I wasn't there, so I won't... Uh, well, I'm, the other two. The the other oh, guys. it's pretty boring. It's, uh, I, I did law and Rob did... No, no, yeah, I did law and Rob did medicine. You did law. Rob, uh, what a coincidence. I was Rob, medicine? So medicine. Do, hang on, you're doing law this year? No, 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 I, I dropped it in August because I hated it. Oh, yeah, I know. I, mean, I was only there because it was the longest course I could think of. You know, and I just wanted to do some <laughs> it shows so there. It was so boring. I just used to wake up every day and say, not bloody law again, so oh, I dropped it. I agree with I you. I'm, a, it. I'm with you, yeah. I how far in medicine? I wonder how far in medicine Rob got, because I can't imagine you healing the sick. Well, Headley, I finished. <laughs> you went, you were a doctor? Headley, yeah. Rob has got a stethoscope and he's Fred Income. And he's got the, the extendo thing that literally that you hit on the knee so that... <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, goes up. that's a good and trick. He really that's has. a good party trick. <laughs> can you do that 100% of the time? Are you 100%? You can get that. You whack him in the knee, the leg's going to go up. I say with a degree of pride, Headley, that I'm uh, not bad at the old reflex. <laughs> Whoa! I really thought that was just in cartoons, the reflex. But it's, oh, no. re it's a real thing oh, that they do. Oh, it's a very... I, I found another one. I, <laughs> I said to Rob <laughs> yesterday, I said, Rob, I've got a reflex thing on my Achilles. And Rob's going, yeah, you've actually got one on your knee, on your shoulder. Wow. Hey, not sh I had is a, there a medical, about the shoulder. One. Is there a medical reason for doing that? or just because the doctor wants a buzz to watch the leg go up. <laughs>
<laughs> it's no reason for it, but oh, look, watch, watch what I can do. Boing. The doctor's thinking, Yosemite Sam did this to Bugs Bunny one day, <laughs> and it worked, and we've done it ever since as a ritual. Hey, Sam, it, how did you finish, Lord? Y- yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, yeah. Bad news, huh? I know. Hey, Robert, you know how you always like to hit Mick with your little helmet on when you're doing uh, shit scares? Yeah. Well, it reminds me, actually, just after I saw that sketch, I started tutoring this guy in German, and he reminds me so much of Mick, because he's really an idiot. And, uh, <laughs> and so I, Put a helmet on him, start hitting. <laughs> well, no, so the good news is he doesn't need a helmet. I just hit him on the head anyway when he does something stupid. No, no. Actually, don't get him to put a helmet on his head, because if he's German, it'll have a spike on top. <laughs> <laughs> One of those Kaiser helmets. His name probably is Helmet yeah, anyway. He's got the same build as Mickey as well. <laughs> okay, Hagbard, we thank you for that. Oh, what? Hang on. Yeah, quickly. What about uh, you know, snipping it? Can I get some free passes? Free passes to oh, DJ yeah, if you answer this trivia question from Tony Martin. Uh, and the subject is? Uh, well, it's no. going to have to be zoology. Oh, zoology. What about a question about law? No, zoology. Zoology. What was the animal in Doctor Doolittle that had two heads? Oh, good question, and I know the answer. Uh, it was a moth. No, 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 no. It was an animal. There was a song about it, and the song was, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Blum, bum, bum. And what was the animal called? You're pretty good, you know that, Tony. It was <laughs> yeah, a great singer. It's brilliant, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I was miming, everywhere. though, then. <laughs> will, will flattery get me everywhere? No. Uh, no. no. Uh, I'll snake. give him some tickets, though. A snake. Give him the tickets. Snake Tell was the close to... Tell him the It answer. was the Push Me Pull You. What the hell is that? It was the animal in Dr. Doolittle, the worst film. It went forwards and backwards. Yeah, and it was a two-headed horse. It was the worst film um, to be ever nominated for the Oscar for Best Picture. Dr. Doolittle, what a hippo crap. Well, I've got to ask you, Tony, have you ever seen Hercules in New York, alternatively known as Hercules Goes Bananas? Hercules Goes Bananas. Where they have to get uh, dubbing over Arnold Schwarzenegger to cover his thick German Arnold Schwarzenegger or Arnold Strong, as he was billed in those days, before he used his real name. Like Little John. On the old steroid days, but that was the funniest film I ever saw, because it was meant to be a drama. But who was the person, who did Arnold's voice? They didn't use Arnold's real voice, it was a guy going, yes, here I am on Mount Olympus. That was Pee Wee Herman. Who was the little Jewish guy in the thick horn rim glasses? That man's name was Arnold, Arnold Stang. (laughs) <laughs> it's true, his name was Arnold Stang, and it was really funny because the billing was Arnold Strong and Arnold Stang in Hercules Goes Bananas. Let me have a wild guess here. You're a bit of a movie buffoon, are you, no, I'm Tony? I'm afraid so. Are you? Well, what about Food of the Gods, Tony? Have you seen that? Food of the Gods and there's a an, with, with Janet Lee, yeah, I think. Well, they, they shoot up right Who was the cinematographer? Uh, Michael Bauhaus. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I wouldn't know. <laughs> and they shot rats and they electrocuted rats and they drowned rats. They did everything the rats Yeah, and it was just with really bad miniatures. It was just like little mice crawling but over buildings made the, out of matchboxes. Uh, the caravan, the rats over the caravan. You well, could see yep. a little Playmobil type. Well, listen, Hagbard, this reminiscing is making me stiff, but we've got to go through a few more callers. <laughs> and we'll win some passes then? Yeah, you'll win some passes. I'll put you on hold, tell you how to get them. Hang on a second. We'll go to line four, and it is Peter. Hi, oh, g'day, Hedley. How are you? Good, Peter. And g'day, Dr. Rob. And, um, how are you, else? Peter? G'day. There you go. Um, you're sort of nice giving away free tickets, aren't you? I mean, making them sound so good. <laughs> well, what's coming now? <laughs> um, you do a lot with the video camera, like at home, sort of thing. Um, why do you do that? Um, so, because there's there's actually a lot of stuff we have to fi- produce to fill in an hour of television, and um, and we can't actually get it all done at the ABC. So we find it. Um, it, it's it's easy to just get the home video camera out and go out to places and sometimes it's really unobtrusive to walk into a shop instead of walking in with like a, a camera person and a sound man and everything it's yeah. just you know just a camera and and it's a bit of a psychological thing they don't feel very threatened at all it's like you know you can actually ask them all sorts of questions and they don't sort of jump up and down and get all nervous and all that kind and of thing. And reality TV is very big now. Yeah. But also, it's really fast. Like, we weren't joking when we said we filmed that thing, the Olympic opening ceremony, in about seven minutes. It was filmed in about half an hour in our lunch hour. Yeah, if we'd done that with the ABC, that would have taken, with a full crew, it would have taken about three hours. And, and four weeks to get the paperwork through. <laughs> well, <laughs> but it takes a long time, But whereas you can just run out and literally film things real quick. It was an original idea we had to cheapen the show, because we a few years ago we were trying to make a really cheap show, and so we thought, hey... Video cameras. Use one of them video cameras. But yeah. and, and now it works because to fill an hour of television a week, you know, that mm. we're using every resource that the auntie can throw at us at do the re- moment. Do you reckon more. it looks really crappy? Or how do you reckon it looks? Oh, well, sometimes it looks crappy. Does it matter, though, do you reckon? Pardon? Does it actually matter? Oh, like, if something looks really oh, crappy, do you actually sort of say, oh, that, I, I don't actually like watching I mean, that? it's no better than the average winning film or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we thank you for that, Peter. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, See good. Right. And we'll try line five. Who's that on the air? Hello? Hello? Still down. Okay, oh. line six. Hello? Down. Still down. Oh, a premature thank for telecom there. Line seven. Butthole surfer. Oh, good day. Good day. Yeah, I'm Robin Santo, the legend. All right. Oh, thanks, yeah. butthole surfer. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm offending you, even though I'm thanking you. <laughs> it's, a two, it's a two-edged sword, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about um, yeah, just degeneration sketches, just for a bit. Mm. Yeah, first of all, just to prove that I'm a true fan, I remember from that um, Dag City thing... Um, mm. Yeah, I remember um, you said something like, oh, I love your corduroy pants, and then <laughs> someone else goes, oh, my mum, I know how, and it was, where, where do you buy, where do you get your pants from? He goes, oh, I don't know, my mum buys all my clothes. <laughs> my mother does my shopping, I think, the line. Yeah, right. That's right, that's, that's my favourite line Michael is... Leach has ever said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, my mother does all my shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary stuff. Man. All right. Yeah, and, uh, anyway, I think the most definitive degeneration sketch of all time is Saigon, shit, is that? Which was that one? You that? don't remember Saigon, shit. Yeah, you know Saigon. the horror and all that. Oh. Which which era was? I think was you're it? thinking of Apocalypse Now, the <laughs> yeah. the film. That's where you got it from? <sighs> what was when, it then? Yeah, no, no, it rings a bell. I'm just trying to no, think. No, no, it's something that, you uh, did. I don't it? believe that you do not remember that. Yeah, you from, did. It was Saigon. from one of the channel. It's from one of the Channel Seven degenerations, yeah. and it's also on the Satanic sketches. Saigon. Oh, the, the man from the the yes, uh, the, 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 the shop, store the store detective. Oh, yeah. I was actually going to ask you if you if you know we could sort of do a short reenactment of it since it's only about three or four minutes. You know, well, since I don't even remember the sketch, <laughs> that, I did it. The retract, you know, God, the legends and everything. It's oh, that was in fact Ted Emery right. had the idea for that sketch. Sorry? Ted, Ted Emery, who uh, was our director at Channel Seven, had yeah. the idea for that. He went to Vietnam and <laughs> used to and was on the side of a helicopter with a gun, apparently. Yeah. Well, Doing... we're not sure at the moment. It's well, a bit of a Bill Clinton situation with Ted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, al he also directed the Saturday Show. So, what can you yeah. make of him? Well, but... just give us one line from that sketch to, um, to satisfy Butthole Surfer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, One line. Uh, oh. the, the, mother, the thing about the mother, you didn't yeah. have to. Um, yes, you did. okay? This Mark Mark Downey said the line. You napalmed my mother. Yeah, I was actually going to offer to do that part. Oh, oh I really? Yeah. Yeah. Support for Mr. Well, Butthole. Please, I'll tell you let's what, not get emotional or something. You shattered my world and really, yeah. Okay, well, we'll make it up to you by giving you two tickets to next Saturday's Degeneration yeah. show. If, That'd if, if, if you can answer this surfer, Rob Sitch. Look, I'm, I've got to this make surfer, this a bit I've lost my mind. Yeah, okay, I've got to make the trivia question easier. Yeah, don't it's got to be about mm. the Degeneration, you, though. Okay, oh, really? Yeah, oh, not, right, not okay, too well, fine. Obvious, no, 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 no. Well, you can answer one of our previous ones, which is the relationship between the pound and the fennig. No, I asked about a degeneration question. No, you, well, right. I'm giving you an option. You can okay, answer that one. Okay, okay. You can do the Joffa okay, Boy Rob, song. Rob, give it yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. Yeah. One of uh, it's um. <sighs> give me. Give me style. Give me from any period, any style. Any sketch no, no, that no, you know. I, I know, I know. Hang oh. on. Name one of the attractions from Tommy Cravat's Circus Royale. Tommy Cravat Jr.'s Circus Royale. Um, the Village Idiot. Mm. No, I don't think so. He's got eight. I know, that's, he's got that ten fennings either way. No, that was from Castle Cravat. That was oh, from his. Uh, no, that was from the castle. This is from the actual circus. All your names, and I get confused. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean. No, that was a Cryo Castle one. We're talking about yeah. a circus one. Oh, the circus one. Um. Oh, I don't know. I've got this, you know, because Hills you mixed hoist. up the names, you see. That's you know, there was the bearded man. Come and see the bearded man. The Hills Hoist Trapeze team. It was point and stare at the wog. <laughs> <laughs> and there was... And uh... Santo's just sitting there on a chair doing nothing. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's I right. I remember that. Okay, well, that's close enough, butthole yeah, surfer. We'll put you on hold and tell you how you can collect it as well, all right? Okay. I was okay. the man Hang on the trampoline. On we'll try line four. Line four, hello? Dead. Someone there? Line three, Hello? Line five, hello. Okay, but line ten, we do know someone's on line ten, and it's Paul. Hello. Paul Keating. Yeah, yes, that's right. How are you, Paul? Not bad. I just wanted to confirm that the uh, recession is actually over. Oh, good. All right. All right. Um, I just wanted to say Greg Matthews was great tonight. Why, well, thank you, Paul. Fantastic. Yeah, he looked exactly like him. Didn't it was. It? it was spooky. I tell you what, Paul, at about 8 o'clock tonight, it wasn't looking so good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a liberal use of cut foam in the mouth. And uh, fortunately, our makeup artist, a woman by the name of Linda Washbourne, has that real. Um, 
She takes the old egg. Joie de vivre. Short. She does. She pulls it out of the hat at the last moment. So Unbelievable. It's... I wondered what you had in your mouth. I thought you were going to spit it out because it's... <laughs> it's really bad. You know the stuff that comes out of like a mattress when you cut it up. Yeah. That's what it is, right. and it picks up saliva, so it gets up to a critical mass. <laughs> <laughs> at which point it is, uh, it's, it's not reusable. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you guys if you um, still keep in touch with Mark Downey and Magda Subansky and Michael Veitch. Do you still talk to them? Well, being part of the glitterati of <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne Entertainment, we run into them all occasionally. At um, Governor's Afternoon oh, Tunes. Oh, and... gee, some of those openings. Yeah. And uh, the uh, Police Academy 7 opening. <laughs> and, uh, we actually we actually don't frequent too much of the same places as they do, but uh, you know, so I, I, I saw Magda down the street like a couple of months ago and that kind of stuff. So you bump into them around the place and you know, we Hard always not talk. to bump into Magda. <laughs> are you envious of what, what they've achieved? Because I think they've probably gone a long way, a lot further than you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no. no, no, we're happy what, with what we're doing. Well, I'd say now you you know you're all on television. I don't think that would apply at the moment. Oh, uh, well, you if, think, if you ever hey, get, if, they've got the logies. <laughs> <laughs> Are you after logies? No, you guys after logies? We you never do. have been in the past, but uh, well, I don't know. Are you uh, going to make gratuitous pleas uh, for logies when it comes to voting no, time? I don't think we'd be running around with our home video camera if we were after the but logies. But forty thousand copies of TV week to fill out Gee, the coupons. That I'm might... feeling the urge to do a lifestyles program in the next couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Paul. Okay, guys. We thank you very much yeah, for that. No See you, okay, Paul. and we'll try line three. Hello, line four. Hello, line five. Hello, line six. Hello, hello. We'll go back to Frank and see how the accident's how the progressed. The accident's going, yeah. Frank. That was pretty boring. <laughs> what? Oh, there was no blood or nothing. No. What happened? Oh, it just looked like someone dropped a right-hand turn in front of somebody. Are they still there? No, they're gone now. Typical Vietnamese driving, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. What car were they driving? Uh, one of them was a VK Commodore Calais owned by some drug dealers, by the looks yeah. of them. Yeah. And the other one was owned <laughs> by a Vietnamese, a little Telstar. Little Telstar. Yeah. That's good. So who came off second best? The uh, drug dealers or the Vietnamese? Uh, the drug dealers came better off, actually. All right. Yeah, but the cops were going through their car while they were asking for what would hap what happened. There were searches for their car. Yeah. Fair income. Yeah. They find anything? Oh, I don't know. I didn't hang around uh, long enough. Frank, are the Spanish people really bad drivers? Um, no. You sure? I'll guarantee it. Who are the worst drivers, do you reckon? I I've heard that the worst drivers in Europe are the Portuguese. Is that true? Um, I, I've, I've been to Europe for many years, so mm -hmm. I can't honestly answer that. Right. You know, in Australia, the worst drivers that have to be Vietnamese. You reckon? Yeah, I know so, f for a fact. Yeah. So I drive around Footscray, or better known as Vietscray, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, you can, they can't drive for peanuts. Yeah, and taxi drivers are really good, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're, they're excellent. Mm. Uh, listen, you know what you guys done to me tonight, haven't you? What? You spoiled the show for me because I watch it when I get home. Oh, oh no. Frank, you taped it. Yes. Well, you're just going to watch Graham and the Colonel, really. Just fast forward to that part. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward that part. Actually, I'm not really into sports. You don't into sports? No. Well, either a Graham and the Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. I, th I think it's a great well, part of the show. I don't often digress from sports. Next week's show. Sorry, what was that? I reckon that because you spoiled the show for me tonight. You should go and give, uh, give me free tickets for. Well, actually, we've got one set left for you, Frank. Uh, aren't you? No, no, no. Okay. Can he answer a question? Oh, he's, but he's got to answer the question. But, hey, don't what? forget, I'm a taxi driver. All right. My IQ is not the best. Okay, okay, well, firstly, have a go at the previous questions. You've got 10 fennigs either way. Rob, what was the first question on the pound? At what level was the pound set against the uh, against the uh, Deutschmark and the ERM? The European uh, Monetary any... Union. You've got 10 fennigs either way for that first question. Uh, have I got any other options? Or... No, that's the first one. You'll go through the list of questions. Go on. Okay. What's your guess? Uh, uh, 80. No, no. What was the correct answer on that one? It was 272 Phoenix. <laughs> I was going to say that. You were going to say that, but okay, next question. What was one of our other previous questions? I Joffa Boy song. Do you know the Joffa Boy song? No, I don't, mate. I'm a wog. Remember that. Okay, yes, right. We don't know anything about Joffa Boy except you wore the Carlton jumper. <laughs> That's all we know about Joffa okay, Boy. Okay, and your I, question, I just Sandra? wanted to know, is that, that ring road that they're building up in the northern suburbs, is that a good idea? Um, no, because it's going to make our fares a lot shorter. We can't make that much money. That's the correct answer. <laughs> That's the correct answer. That's the correct answer. We'll keep you on hold there. All right, mate. Okay. Oh, actually, you've got a few minutes. I just pulled up to the West End Market. Yeah. I might get some people in the cab. Hold on. Okay, we'll see if he gets... Um, I doubt it at the West End Market. No, there's quite a big crowd here. 
here on Saturday night. Fair dinkum. Yeah. Okay, well, the first person you get in the cab gets two tickets as well. <coughs> He's you eating the hot dog. He's eating the hot dog. Yeah, hold on, he's open the door now. He's open the door now? You want a taxi? Yep. Do you like the degeneration? You have to say yes. Yes. All right, we've got a fan of... <laughs> okay, right. put, him yeah. put him on the air. Put him on the air. What's his name? Well, hold on, I've got the degeneration on the line here. This is fair income, mate. Okay. okay. So say hello to Santo, Tony and Rob. Hello. Hi. How you going, Santo? Hey, how you going, mate? Good, mate. Yourself? I'm good. What's your name? Rocky. How are you, Rocky? He's a wog. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what, where, whereabouts are you from in Italy, Rocky? No, I come from Australia, but my um, parents are from somewhere or another. Oh, there? come on, don't be ashamed. Tell, tell me where you're from. Um, Bianco, I think it is. Yeah, is that in Calabria? Yep, yep. Yeah, all, rock, da, da, all da, 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 No, that's Sicily, that's Sicily. Well, what's Calabria? That's Sicily. Well, that's the, that's the toe part. Oh, right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. How are you, Rocky? Good, where you been? Oh, West End Nightclub. And is that a classy place? Not bad, yeah. Yeah, did you did you have a good night there? Yeah, yeah did, you, good. Did, you, did you pick up? No, I didn't actually. Doesn't matter. Actually, he's making love to a hot dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, I'll tell you what, if you can answer this trivia question, Rocky, you've also won two tickets to the D Generation next Saturday night. Not a problem. What, what's the question, uh, Rob? I've given up on that Fennig thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tony, you give a trivia Tony, question. Trivia question from Tony. Um, who's who's the, the runs the nuclear plant in The Simpsons? God knows, I don't watch Simpsons. That is the correct answer. <laughs> it's just me. I'm the only person watching it, aren't I? Okay, we'll put you on hold there, and you and Frank. Can, you can, Frank, actually, get Frank to take you to the show next Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Okay, thanks, Rocky. Thanks, mate. See you later. Yeah. And I can see now that the big hand is approaching the 12. The little hand is now on the 2. <laughs> and there's Tiny Tim coughs in the background. Oh, that's actually crying, Headley. Is it? Yes. Is that what it is? It's crying. You've been listening to that track every week for the last five years, and you didn't realise it was crying. I thought he was crying. crying. I thought he was God. Crying. Unbelievable. I'll have to listen next week. I would like to thank three-sevenths of the degenerate. Is it seven? We worked it out how many there are? Seven? Yeah. Three-sevenths of if the If you include Jane. <laughs> God doesn't want to do it. And, uh, Tony, before you uh, arrived tonight, yes. both Santo and Rob admitted they were giving it to Jane. Do you want to make the same confession on there? <laughs> no, no, I'm, uh, I'm not. You're not. <laughs> You're the odd one out on New Zealanders. She does draw the line. Exactly. Okay. I, as a New Zealander, I only have sex with sheep, and it's as simple as that. Do you watch that show with the dogs around it? Back, back, it's, right? it's great. It's a good show. It's, I defy anyone not to, I, to watch a whole episode. I flashed onto it this afternoon and I was riveted. It is. It's, it's strangely riveting. compelling. Yeah, and after a while you start going, like a bad uh, cool, 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 yeah. cool, 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 But there's all these jokes about how oh, it's number one in New Zealand, but it's on at four o'clock on a Sunday up against the Dukes of Hazard in New Zealand. That's why it's number one. <laughs> I just wonder why they just don't, the, the farmer doesn't just wave his arms and, and, and you, like you run him in. Yeah, why doesn't why he do a bit of chasing? Why is it so slow? Oh, to the dog yeah. goes this way and that. Surely if you scare them, they just <laughs> run really quickly. But okay. doesn't John Waters host it here? Yeah, John Waters what hosts it. What qualifications does he have? He has a dog. He ha No, he has one of those long coats <laughs> that they wore. Dries 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 right. Credibility. That's it. And when we think of credibility, we think of Tony Martin, degeneration. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes. Santo Chilaro. When I think of credibility, I think of... Remember Glenn Taylor that used to read the <laughs> Channel 7 News? I think short lived. I think of Tracy Curo. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 beyond 2000. Yeah. I'm sorry. Beyond I, 2000. Moved up in the world. I think of when Bruce Mansfield and Annette Ellison hosted the Channel 10 News. So oh. there's one. You know, you know, you know I, I sometimes think I'm going to see Glenn Taylor on the back of the taxis. You know, have you seen this person? <laughs> He's on Channel 10 now. Did Annette sorry. Ellison host it does do the docos. news? Yeah. Was there a wheel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and on the thought of it, Alison, you have a good week out there. And uh, Didi, thank you for pushing the buttons tonight. Yeah, it's a very stressful job tonight, but Hedley. Yeah, well, Telecom <laughs> sort of came through for us tonight. We sort of. got the lines happening at the end, although not all of them will have it. To look at that. And Dr. Rob Sitch, still he healing the uh, afflicted? No, or? I'm not Not currently. Not uh, currently. Under advisement from lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for having us in, Headley and Dee And thank you very much indeed, Dee and thank you all three of you. No, no, thank you, thank you. Oh, and thank, no, thank you. you. No, thank you. And, thank you. and continued no, thank success. You. And, and thank you, Telecom. And thank you, Telecom. And thank you, Optus, for putting pressure on Telecom.
And remember out there, your way may be the right way. So until someone proves otherwise, we've got to wait for the chorus now. I know, yeah. Okay. Um, Didi? Headley? Sainers. <laughs> next year, mate. In. No, next year. <laughs> the record shows. you got to join in on the, the chorus. Blow. Just remember, just and do it your